Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome and to my um, regular subscribers, welcome back. I have took a little time off because of my health and just trying to get myself back to being me. Um, today, I just wanted to take some time um, because I've been making some dandelion jelly and a lot of people have been wanting it. Um, I've been making a lot of little tags and I was like, I got these actually in a dumpster grab bag. They're from the Dollar General. Um, I'm not sure why they threw them away. Um, there are eight of them in here. Um, it just makes no sense whether they were something somebody returned or they were on the floor or whatever. I don't know. I'm not going to do the whole eight. I'm probably going to do four or six. And what I'm going to use today is from the Dollar Tree, these beautiful rub-ons. Um, just to make the tags a little more decorative. And then on the back, I can simply write on them what they are. So what I'm going to be doing is like a two-step. Um, the tag that's going to be decorative on the one side is just simply going to say what it is on the back is going to be um, just painted black. So it's going to be kind of a two-step. I'm going to be using, and I, I didn't grab my black. I'll have to go grab it. It's sitting in the other room in the drawer. Um, the antique wax is going to actually be on the front where we're going to be putting the transfers and on the back is going to be the black and so it's kind of kind of be like a two-step I'm gonna to have to paint one side and then do just like um, dry brush the edges for some um, no, I can't think of the word you know to give it some you know what I'm thinking you know what I'm trying to say so I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna get into this craft so I'm using the um, Waverly chalk paint and ink on one side. This gives me a black um, coat to um, write on the tag uh, what kind of gift or who it's to, whether it be jelly or um, something else. No matter what I have these tags for, all I have to do is take my um, pen um, from the Dollar Tree and just write on it what it is. Whether it's just a gift to somebody or if it's a jar of jelly, what it, you know, what it is and when it was canned, um, that kind of thing. And we're going to let that dry. Okay, I'm back and we're going to take the Waverly Wax Antique. And I'm just going to take and turn these over. And any of this that's on here, that's fine. Don't worry about it because you do want to kind of make it look rustic. Kind of, you know, some people that may bother. I'm not going to worry about it. I am going to put some on my brush and then kind of dab it off because... I just want to come in and kind of bring the edges, kind of, you know, feather it in from the edges, the different directions, kind of make it look, you know, old, like it's been sitting around. I kind of like the way that one looks. And we're going to do that with all of these. And I think this one I might just do like striped. And they don't all have to go the same direction, like be identical. They can be, you know, I'm going to antique this one, the whole thing. And that black is actually going to look kind of like a knot. If I twist right there where that black ink is, it's going to kind of turn it into a knot in the wood. Look at that. So don't ever think, oh my gosh, it's ruined. Think of it 
Think of what something like that could be and go with it. like that and we're gonna leave them just like that and I think what I'm gonna do is these um, kind of antique looking ones I really like I like all these <laughs> let's start with this one with the roses they put these on here so close that it's difficult to cut these Get this one out. I'm going to put this on probably this one right here. Going on this one. And I'm going to put the window on this one. The rose on that one and the butterfly on that one. So let's get to work on these. First, let me put the lid back on my antique, get that out of the way, so you can see what I'm doing. We're going to start with this one. And if you ever get a chance, let me see if I can find it. Where did it go? I got these in my food pantry box. They have this really nice rounded end. My goodness, guys. Let me get this down in front of me so I can do the square. Let's go ahead. There it is, guys. I'm going to go ahead and finish these up, and I'll be with you in a minute. Okay, guys, here they are. They are all finished. I absolutely love how they turned out. This one actually has, like, a little train schedule on it. That is so cool. And, of course, the back of them are all black. Um, I may take like a black paint marker or a gold paint marker and just go over the edges of these depending on what I'm putting them putting them on. Um, that way I can kind of, you know, trim them with a color that matches what I'm putting them on. Um, that way they can kind of match up. Um, a little better. I'm not going to put any strings on them because depending on what I'm putting them on, like a jar of dandelion jelly, I will just be putting the string through and tying it on. Um, so I didn't want to put a, a string on them yet. Um, and this is the one with the window. Look how cute that turned out. Especially with the way this is all kind of feathered out kind of looks almost like light coming through the window that is so cool this is the one with the butterfly on it I love how that turned out and then the one with the roses how beautiful is that this is going to be great come Mother's Day. I don't have a mother, but, you know, if you were doing something like this, this would be perfect 
put on a gift for Mother's Day. So there they are. They're gorgeous. I love how they all turned out. Everybody, thanks for watching and watch for more of my Craft My Stash videos. Bye, guys.